Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Max with a Website Pro and today we're going to learn to block hackers with PHP and MySQL. Okay, now this is going to be a detailed tutorial, but just so you know what you're getting, so um, you don't get halfway into this lesson and it's like, ah, that's not what I needed. Okay, so this is what's going on. So we have here uh, a website and they have products on it and whenever they click buy now, um, what a hacker will do is they'll look for these form variables. They'll look through all through these form variables and the next page after this is submitted, they get a hold of that page and then they ping that page with a bunch of bogus data and whatnot, trying to get information or whatnot. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out and we'll fill that out with what, whatever numbers we need here. And first name. Maximus McCullough 101 Oak Bridge Drive Butler UT Butler PA 1602 and we'll just use max at a1sold.com and then the shipping information will be the same. But this is what I wanted to do. As soon as I hit this checkout, all those all these post variables that I have here, and I gotta select my ground shipping. I'm going to click checkout. Okay, let me see if there's something that I forgot to fill out here. I have to select the credit card or buy two, get one free. I select checkout. Notice it comes to this confirm.php page. Okay, now what a hacker will do is he'll get on this and if he's accessing it from outside your domain, for instance, he could put set up a page on his domain that keeps submitting post variables to this and inject stuff into your database or some other means or he'll screw around here online but what will happen is he'll burn up your email relays insert bogus data into your uh, website and then uh, when the when the client however when the client comes here and he goes through he's going to be shopping as usual but I'm going to show you a little trick so you can block these hackers so I'm going to click confirm order now notice here that you know I still have all of the information I'm still on here. But let's go back here for a second. Now you'll notice this confirm if I copy this and I try to go directly to this page, paste and go, look what happens. Hi there, nice job hacking. However, as you can see, I have all your information. I'm either ready to report you to the authorities, blah blah blah. And here you can see all the hackers' information. This is me. This is who I this is where I am this particular point in time. So wouldn't you like to be able to know who's trying to hack into your website? Well that is what this tutorial is all about my friend. Okay so let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a way to connect to your database. I recommend making a config.php you know just like this. Config.php create that file config.php and then enter this information in it. What this does is it connects to your database okay and if it fails it's going to give you an error message and tell you what's wrong else it's just going to echo nothing or you can uh, you know put success whatever successfully connected. Okay the next part of this tutorial is you're going to make this little script create, a, create something create database.php and then upload this to your server. Okay, what this is going to do is it's going to require that config file that we just did and it's going to create another table called block inside your MySQL database. In it you're going to have an ID, so a unique ID for each person that comes in that tries to hack your website, what city they're from, the region they're from, their country, and most importantly you'll get the IP address and then the date and time that they tried to hack the site. Okay. Now what this will do is it will let you know if it was created successfully, if, if it created the table successfully. If not, then it's going to give you an error and it's going to let you know what happened. And you could get all this, all these codes are going to be available at A1 Website Pro. You could copy and paste them. Okay, the next thing that I want you to make is block.php and upload it to your server. Okay, and I'm going to explain this because this is quite lengthy and I want you to, to know what each part does. First of all, this little PHP uh, um, 
script, it grabs the referrer. And what we want to make sure of is that the people that get to the confirm.php here on the website, we got to make sure that they're on Mr. Synthol. Because if they're on another website coming here, they could be screwing, screwing us around. So we look at the refer, and then we parse that. And right here is what you got to change. Change this to whatever your website is. Remember, take off the HTTPS if it, there's no S on there. And just put your website in there. If you have a www, put that in there. Whatever it is, yourwebsite.com. Okay, and this is where we get we send him his uh, little message. Now you can edit this, you know, to say whatever you want. Any nasty thing you want to say, go ahead and tell. Uh, your, your customers aren't going to see it. However, the hackers that try to hack your website will be seeing this. And that right here is where we get grab their IP addresses. Okay, so we grab the IP address and we store that into a variable called IP. We use this uh, magnificent plugin called the geoplugin.net and on the end of that string, we are able to get a lot of information from just the hacker's IP address. Well, we want to unserialize the data and then use file get contents and then put that IP, that variable right at the end there. And here we could get a lot of different things. We could get a city, you know, his, his uh, state. IP address, his region, his country, la even the latitude and longitude of them. And so by getting this, we will be able to get a lot of information about this person. And finally, what we do at the end of the, towards the end of the script, we go ahead and grab that config.php that we made, and we insert into our database the city, the region, the country, and the IP address. Okay. Now from the IP address, you can always go back and get those other pieces of information that you want but for this particular tutorial I've only included these and here you can see the values that we're putting in from the variables above okay <clears throat> so here we're just echoing out to let the hacker know that we have all this information about him okay him or her and then we put die at the end of the script so nothing else gets executed okay Nothing else gets executed on there. You're not using any email relays or anything. You could have this stuff emailed to you if you like, but I would rather insert it into a database because if he's burned up all our email relays somehow, then, uh, you know, of course we're not going to get it anyway. But you could actually put in a little mail script at the end here if you like, you know, the, the mail to uh, PHP script. And then you can find that on Avon Website Pro as well. All right, the next thing that I want you to make <clears throat> is this little block here. It's include block.php. Now, this is block.php, but we don't want to include this on every page. For instance, you don't want to put this in your header.php. You'll be blocking every person that comes to your website. However, you do want to block, you know, the particular pages, the confirm page, the thank you pages, and stuff like that. And all you have to do is include that in there, okay? So that's that's what grabs that uh, that's what stops them in their tracks basically. Now to block them entirely from your website, this is where we go to the header.php, and you'll notice we're grabbing the config file. And the first thing that we're going to do is grab all the users that come to our website. We're going to grab their IP address, okay? And then we're going to go to our database and we're going to query the database for the whatever's in block, okay? And we want to get the, all the IP addresses that we're blocking. And then we're going to redirect them to google.com and then exit the script. So every time that they go to our website now, they'll just be redirected to google.com. I hope this tutorial helps some people out there that are having trouble with this kind of stuff. This is Max with AM Website Pro. If you have any questions or comments, please be, feel free to go to my website and leave them below in this post. Thank you.